but I decided I really need to start making some money here. And the best way to do that is to sell off a few buildings. So we're going to go here into construction mode. I'm just going to go ahead and start selling these things. Now, I think I'm probably going to make close to $200,000 if I go ahead and sell these guys off right here. So building two, building three, and yes, I know even this one up here, building number four. All right, so now I've got $260,000. So now it's time to get some new equipment and to help offset some of those costs. It's time to sell this massive Ferguson baler right here. Guys, I made 253 bales with it. I'm going to go and drop it off right here and then I'm going to go ahead and sell it. I have absolutely no idea how much I'm going to make for it. Let's see, uh, about 17,000. All right, let's go ahead and repair it. Yes, repaint it. All right, 19, almost $20,000. That's not a bad deal. All right, let's go see what I replaced it with. And that would be a new Holland BR-6090. Got a round of baler here because it's going to be a little bit easier whenever I pair it up with this brand new mower right here. We got the disc cutter F320P. A little bit older equipment. I get it, but it kind of goes really well with the K7210. We're going to go ahead and take this back down to the farm and start doing a little bit of November um, mowing here. We're going to go ahead and make some bales. We're going to wrap them, and then we're going to make some silage bales out of it. But before I do that, I've got a contract that I need to go ahead and get completed. Went ahead and bought this corn header right here. It's going to fit really, really nicely here to the New Holland TC-59. Got a Capello right here, the Damiant. And it's a six meter wide header, so it's going to take a little while. So I need to go ahead and get started here early in the day. This entire contract I'm going to do with just my equipment. Got my trailer and my other tractor up here as well. So go ahead and get started on this. It's, gonna, like I said, going to take quite quite a while but it's gonna be better if i use my own equipment i got the mower baler combo back down here at the farm and as you can see i've got two different levels of grass like this stuff right here has already been cut and this stuff up here has not been cut yet so i might get a little bit froggy and try and jump up there and take care of that but the big part that i'm going to take care of today is all of that over there on the other side of the property and one thing i'm going to do to ensure that i get a really really nice even area here is I'm just going to go ahead and start doing a little bit of landscaping. I'm just smoothing this stuff out a little bit. That way, hopefully I can uh, not have any bumps and ripples and things like that in this area. I'm trying to get over here as far as I can up to all these areas. You can see that my money is kind of going down a little bit. Other times, not so much. But the important thing here is just going ahead and getting everywhere that I can go ahead and taken care of. Now, I don't know exactly why I can't get over there. I should own that, but... It is what it is. I may have to buy the other areas to be able to actually get up there and do that. I'm going all the way up here because this is where I cleared out all of my trees at. So I'm going to go ahead and just smooth this out right in here because that's going to be a nice, good transition area for me right there. I'm going all the way over here. You can see how the money's going down fast. I mean, it's doing a lot of work over there. But hopefully, hopefully this is going to give me a really, really nice smooth area that way whenever i come back with the plow also in this uh after the harvest is out of here then i'm gonna be good to go but i'm gonna be able to do multiple cuts on this so i definitely definitely want to make sure that i am good to go and that we get as much of this smoothed out as we can now i can go ahead and see up here that it's not exactly smooth you know what it's gonna be all right i'm gonna go ahead and start down here on this corner I'm gonna go ahead and start working around the field first and then i will start making my way out while that worker is doing its thing up there on the contract i'll be down here making silage bales you know i'm thinking it might not be a bad idea to go ahead and upgrade my trailer as well because this was this was only one pass and i'm pretty sure or a pass and a half and i'm pretty sure that my uh harvester is gonna fill up just about this entire trailer i think i need to go look at the used dealership to see what kind of truck or trailer i can get to help out here a little bit with capacity this thing here should help solve the issue with capacity yes hundred thousand liter plus capacity here on this thing uh yeah i don't have to worry about it anymore i gotta figure out what to do with that trailer full down there i think it's gonna go to the ranch so i'm probably gonna take it to the train station again that way i can go ahead and just keep taking everything over there and then up the hill Things got, I think, 500, maybe 625 horsepower. Can't remember exactly what I got, but I'm under 100K again, guys. So I really got to start making some money. As you can see, I've already made 16 bales here, working on it, number 17. I mean, it's quite a few considering I've really only hit just around the outsides of the field. So I've got a whole big section here in the middle that I need to go back and forth on. 
Got a little bit up here too. I mean, we could get 30, 35 bales off this. And this combination down here is making a really, really good progress too. You can see that we're over maybe about a quarter of the field so far. Every pass and a half, I'm literally having to empty out this harvester. But the good thing is, and I don't even have 30% capacity filled up in this thing yet. So it's going to be quite a while before I have to haul this off. But guys, this truck is beautiful. So I went ahead and came up here because I need to get just a little bit more to fill out the 30th bale here. Now, I didn't do any smoothing or anything like that up here. So, okay, it looks like I am done. We got the bale going on right there. All right, perfect. 30% or 30 bales, I mean. Now, trying to find these bales is going to be a little bit tricky because some of them blended very, very well with the bushes that I've got down here. And then some of them are in my field. So hopefully I don't have to tear up the crop to get to them because it's a really, really bad day. But I'm going to go ahead and start putting them on here. I think I can hold like, I don't know, 20. These are smaller bales. So it's like the first time I've ever made this size. So we're going to see. It looks like I've got 22% at five, which means I should be able to get 20 on here. And then I've got to figure out how exactly we're going to wrap them. But it shouldn't be too difficult because we have the really, really awesome bale spikes. So, yeah, looks like I've got 10 on here right now at 45%. Know, I'm thinking maybe 20, 22. And a really good thing about having all these buildings out of the way now is that I can actually get down here and use this area for something a little bit more productive. So I'm going to go ahead and start making my whole snake, silage snake thing right here. And, oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and make it as far this way as I can, then I'll just move it over and make another row. Uh, exactly which way I'm going to go yet. I'm also just going to go ahead and use these things right here, this uh, bale spike, to go ahead and pick up the rest of these bales. I mean, there's not very many of them. I mean, they're just all kind of around right in here, so it's going to work out really, really good for me to be able to just come down here, get these things done, and uh, then I'm good to go on this right here. Y'all, I don't know how it happened, but I've got... 30 of them here right now, and there's still the one more out there in the field. So I'm going to go and hop on the tractor, get the last one. I guess that means I've got 31 males. And you know the crazy thing I told you all ago? Well, I'm not going to destroy the crop. Uh, it's still on the first stage, so it doesn't matter. We're going to go ahead and grab this one right here. This auto load bale spike are absolutely amazing. Part of the CSZ pack. You definitely, definitely need to get them. If you want to play a little bit more realistic-ish, highly recommend it. So we're going to go ahead and drop these off right here. And that's going to be the last one for me. So we'll go ahead and lower this down. I'm going to hop into this thing right here. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, close it up and finish. All right, so that's it. I'm going to go ahead and fold up the bale wrapper right now. It's not working. Why? What do I need to do? Uh, unload bales. There we go. That's what I need to do. Unload the bales first. And then I can actually finish it up. All right, so gonna go ahead and do that. And, you know, I don't think there's any more mowing that I'm gonna do, but I'm probably gonna hang on to this thing because it's only nine o'clock in the morning. Let's fold it up, go ahead and turn it off. They can just chill out right there. Now I gotta get back up and finish the rest of the corn harvest before I figure out exactly what else I need to do here on the farm. Yeah, this upgrade to this truck, definitely, definitely gonna pay off, guys. This thing gets up and moves, and you can also see that it holds a ton of product. I've got a little bit over 77,000 liters in this thing right now. We're about 38, 39% done with the uh, harvesting of the contract. I'm going to go ahead and take the shortcut right here over to that train silo. And I love how this map has the fog on it early in the morning. I mean, realistically, I probably wouldn't be harvesting at 9 o'clock in the morning. But, I mean, it's a game mechanic, so we're doing what we got to do. That way I can make sure that I've got plenty of time. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys have noticed that I'm no longer running at five or three times speed. That's because guys, that's that's rough. It's really, really rough to get everything done in a good quality light setting. So I've just kicked it down to zero and I'm gonna get or 0 0.5, get everything done that I want that day. And then we're gonna move on to the next day. That's the way that this is gonna keep going. I'm gonna go and unload here. Oh, that's the grain door. I don't want the grain door. All right, so I switched it from the grain door to this thing. I don't think it's very much faster. Um, what does that actually say? Here, let's stop overloading. This is a very interesting mod because you've got a regular grain door. Then you've got the thing here in the back. Tip side back, tip side grain door. All right, that's, that's the only two options. So it's not a full width all the way across, but let's see if it goes any faster. I mean, it's not going super slow. It's all right. 
I mean, I really, really like this mod a lot. It's got a lot of power. It's got a good capacity. It works with 82 studios on this thing to be able to make these capacities uh, a lot more increased and not the standard 82 studios capacities, but still increased. I mean, this thing has over 100,000 liters. Base on this thing without the unrealistic, I believe is only like 20 or 21. So pretty good, about five times as much and uh, less trips that I got to make. I mean, especially with the small harvester capacity this really helps out so i'm not making a ton of trips there and a ton of trips over here to deliver i just got done unloading the harvester here and i realized that i never actually put down one of the buildings that come with the precision farming pack yeah i'm thinking this right here looks pretty good because it's seventeen thousand five hundred bucks normally so i got 38 dollars worth of terraforming happening i'm just gonna place the thing right here all right cool so now i got the building up there and it should allow my worker to be a little bit more efficient in all of the jobs that they do Another thing that I really need to get done to this fall is go ahead and put down a little bit of nitrogen here on the field. As you can see, it says that it has zero out of 120 uh, possible. So we're going to go ahead and throw some here. I got the nice uh, Isaria proactive here. It's got these sensors out here on the edge. This is really going to be able to help make this thing really, really work. I thought about getting them for the tractor, but this tractor, I can't get the sensors up on the mirrors. So I had to lease this thing right here. Now, I'm not sure exactly how far this thing is going to go, but what I need to do is go ahead and actually turn this thing on. All right, so I'm going to go and lower the crop sensor, and then I actually need to turn on the crop sensor, I do believe, if there is a way to do that. Uh, turn on crop sensor. There we go. Square. So now that thing is turned on, all right? I can actually go ahead and raise it up, too. I think don't think that matters. And I'm going to go ahead now and turn on the fertilizer spreader. As you can see, it's going ahead and doing its thing back there, but as I start going over the crop here... It should start giving me a, a little bit better of a, uh, a reading. Now, it's not necessarily throwing it out that far and just going like willy-nilly. It should be only putting down exactly how much I need based on what soil type I'm in and what crop is here in soil type. Now, another reason I'm doing this now instead of a little bit later is because I don't have any uh, tractors with the narrow tires. So I'm having to do this here with the tractor that I've got the way it is. So I don't want to destroy any of the crop. And you can see down there in the bottom that I am getting a really, really good nitrogen reading there on the um, on the map now. Now, part of the field is in a yellow, but that's because that's the soil type. And for this crop, it doesn't need a lot of nitrogen. It won't take it. So it's unfortunately not going to make it the same color green all the way throughout. I'm going to go ahead and fill up right here with the rest of the bag that we've got of the fertilizer i think it's probably going to take the rest of it yep so i've only got 1128 now that means i'm going to be a little bit more careful about exactly where i start and stop at um because i really want this other field over here to get all of the nitrogen and if this field doesn't get it in the bad soil i'm not too worried about it i mean this is going to increase my um my yield by quite a bit but if it doesn't end up getting it on the bad soil, I'm not super, super upset about it. All right, field number one or three, two, I don't know. Whatever field number this is, it is done. And I'm going to go ahead and start over here. Now, I know that my soil type actually runs here along this road. So if I take a look here at this and I come down here, you can see that this is the primary part of the field that I really care about. And then I'm going to start going up and down this way. I mean, because I could probably get the outsides if I just run along it with this spreader if I have to wait till a little bit later because I don't want to spend any money on fertilizer right now. I mean, I've got 333 liters in here right now. I'm gonna try and jump over here as far as I can and just see exactly what I can get. I'm looking at my map down there. I think I'm probably about in the right spot. I mean, there may be a little bit of a strip if I had to come back at a later time or I could just go buy another bag. I don't know. I mean, I've got 125 in here left right now. This is probably going to get me down here to the end. Should I? Shouldn't I? And I don't need any more fertilizer until next year. Wish I only had a, play, a way to get like three or 400 liters. All right, so I went ahead and got another 1,000 liters. I did a little trick here using F12, but I took out the money as well, $1,820. I went ahead and just got another thousand liters here of the fertilizer. Hopefully that's going to be enough to get me all the way done with this field I mean, because that's, that's only right, right? It would cost me, that's how much it would come in a bag. So yeah, you know, I feel like that's fair and it's an option that I have here on, on PC. 
All right, so I got everything done here. I've got about 500 liters left. I'm going to go ahead and throw this uh, spreader here under the canopy that we've got. And then I'm going to really start focusing on that other contract that I've got, the corn contract. I went to just go return this, and apparently I bought it. I don't, I didn't lease it. I own this thing now. I mean, it, it's going to come in handy. Another job that I could do here today is go ahead and keep filling up all of these greenhouses. Got lots of trips I need to make because this thing is only 2,000 liters at a time. I got four greenhouses, but as you can see, they're starting to produce a little bit. I've got some pumpkins down here. I've got some strawberries. I've got some tomatoes. Just need some lettuce now. Y'all, I have absolutely no idea how it happened, but we have exactly 100, 1,750 liters in this thing right now. I might have like less than 10 liters over in the harvester. I don't know. I saw it going down and I was here and it, yeah, it's crazy absolutely crazy how close we got here what we're doing though is taking this product here the corn over to the ranch that's where it's going to be dropped off at and then i'm going to be going and picking up the rest of it that i've got over there in the train silo and delivering that as well we get our total see exactly how much we get to keep and how much we can make money on here this winter yeah this is actually a quite a bit easier getting up this hill here i mean no problem at all going 34 miles an hour right here like i said this is where all of this is going to be going to so as long as i don't see my money going up i know i'm in the right spot and i am and i should have one and three quarter of these roughly that i need to uh deliver all right it looks like 57 percent transported here for this commission here is the last little bit i had about 85,000 liters in there so we're gonna go ahead and get this thing down to about 60,000, maybe 70,000. then check and see exactly where this contract sets so let's stop at 70 66 percent all right i still got a ways to go i'm probably going to be able to get down to about 20 percent left and then that should be about where i need to be at for the contract all right there we go we have 22,000 liters left basically i got 49,000 dollars in the bank it's time to go ahead and complete that contract let's go ahead and do that right here another 24,614 completed perfect I don't think I want to take on this one. Sugar beets is going to be excru excru excruciatingly long unless I've got a Colossus mod right now. I don't know those loaded in here and I'm not going to do any more bailing. So I've got $66,000 and that's not bad. Not bad at all. I don't really have anything else to harvest. I mean, is there anything else available on the map at all to harvest other than some, uh, you know, regular root crops? 21 is, uh, corn uh yeah i'm not gonna do that right now so yeah root crops are it i'm not touching those either the last thing i need to do before going to sleep for the month is putting down a little bit of herbicide i don't know exactly if i need to do that the precision score says that i should but i don't have any equipment right now i'd have to buy some and i don't really want to take out a loan for it so i might just wait until springtime maybe I mean, I can't use other equipment that I'm using for a contract, so I may just have to actually break down and buy a sprayer. Well, that's going to be it for today, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a like if you would. Make sure to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications to keep up to date on my future videos. While you're waiting on those future videos, go and check out one of these two right here. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53 signing off.